guys, it's Jessica Tingu, and today I'm going to talk to you about the model of human information processing system. So there's three different parts. So it starts in the environmental input and then it feeds into the sensory, for number one, sensory store, um, which logs the input. Then for number two, it's going to be the short term memory, which is also called the working memory, where it's temporarily stored. Um, and then on the third one, it's the long-term memory, which it obviously long-term is long time. So it's permanently stored in this memory. And then we're going to talk about the executive control processes. So it plans and runs each phase of the information processes. Um, so first, it regulates attention. Second, it selects appropriate memory processes and problem-solving strategies and then the lastly for the third one it monitors quality of tentative answers and solutions so with that being said it also helps with logical thinking and academics so over time children's brains they work better at as they grow older they get more rapidly processing things so say I'm a kindergartner and you're a third grader, it'll take me twice as long or maybe even three times as long as a third grader would to be to understand the same exact thing. We all at different ages work at different levels. So say I'm learning two plus two and you're learning two plus two, it'll take me maybe a week and it might take you a day or two. So it just depends on the stage of process that you're at. And for teaching, saying things in shorter, shorter sentences and repeating them as much as possible will help the child understand what you were talking about and maybe be able to repeat it to somebody else. Um, thank you for watching my video and I hope you guys have a great day. Bye!